This is the checkerboard for multiplication and we'll be using a problem that has a two-digit multiplier. I'll show two examples of this work. The first one with a fairly simple equation to show the process. The second one with a more complicated equation that requires more mental calculations. This is the checkerboard for multiplication. We're showing a two-digit multiplier and we'll be recording the product, the final product for this problem. The problem is 2,314. I have it on paper and with tiles, 2,314. And the multiplier is 23, 23. So at first, I'm going to multiply by the units place of the multiplier everything by three, four taken three times, four units taken three times, one ten taken three times, that's one in the tens place three times, three hundreds taken three times, that's three in the hundreds place, three times, Two thousands taken three times. Two thousands, two in the thousands place taken three times. Now I've multiplied everything by three. I'll move up to my tens place of the multiplier. Four units taken two tens times. Four taken two times in the tens place. One. 10 taken two times, one taken twice. This comes into the hundreds place. Three hundreds taken two tens times, three taken two times, and two thousands taken two tens times. Looks like two taken twice. Before I can calculate my final answer, I'm going to bring all the tens together. So I'm sliding diagonally. Hundreds to the hundreds place. Thousands to the thousands place. And bringing ten thousands down to the bottom row. And now let's see how many beads I have in each place. Four taken three times is 12. 12 units is recorded as two in the units place. And one gets carried to the tens place. Let's put all the ones together. Four plus four taken two times is eight. Four plus eight equals 12. 12 in the tens place gets recorded as two in the tens place and one carried over to hundreds. Three, six, nine hundreds plus three more. Nine plus three is twelve. Whoops. Twelve hundreds gets recorded as two in the hundreds place and one carried over to thousands. How many thousands? Two, four, six plus three taken two times is six. Six plus six is 12 plus one is 13. 13 thousands. Three in the thousands place. One gets carried over to ten thousands. Two, four plus one equals five. Five ten thousands. Let's read the answer first and then we'll record it. Fifty three thousand two hundred twenty two. 
when we record it, we'll start with the units to make sure every number gets recorded in the right place. Two units, two tens, two hundreds, three units of thousands, five ten thousands. And just the way I created families with my hands, I'll use a comma here, 53,222, 222. The problem we'll be working is 4,375 taken 25 times. I've written the equation using color-coded numerals to represent the hierarchical values of the multiplicand and the multiplier. At some point, we may not need to use those hierarchical colors for the equation, but for now, it's a good reminder of what those values stand for. So five units, seven tens, three hundreds. So this is my multiple hand, 4,375, just like it's written here on the paper. For my multiplier, remember I'll be using gray tiles, gray background tiles. So my multiplier is 25. Here's a five for the units place of the multiplier. And I'm looking for a two, a blue two, to represent the tens place of the multiplier. So 25, the two, which stands for two tens of the multiplier, is on the second row. To start with, I'll just multiply by the units place. So I'm going to turn over the tens place of the multiplier and just look at the five. Five units taken five times. Seven in the tens place taken five times. Three in the hundreds place, taken five times. Four in the thousands place, taken five times. So here I can see everything multiplied by five, and I'm finished with the five of the multiplier. Now I'll turn over and reveal the two tens of the multiplier. So five taken two tens times. Five taken two times in the tens place. Seven taken two tens times. Seven tens taken two tens times in the hundreds place. This is going to be in the thousands place. Three hundreds taken two tens times. Three taken two times. Four thousands taken two tens times, four taken two times. I'm finished with the tens place of the multiplier, so I'm going to cover or turn that tile over. So before I continue, now I want to bring all these bead bars down to the bottom row because I know it's easier to read their value from the bottom row. So these are the units. I'll bring the tens 
to the tens place, the hundreds to the hundreds place, thousands to the thousands place, and these beads come down to the ten thousands place. But before I can read my answer, I have to figure out what the value is of these bead bars. So five taken five times, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I record with bead bars a five in the units place and bring the two for the 20 into the next square. Seven taken five times, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, plus 10 is 45, plus two is 47. 47 in the tens place. I'll record the seven and carry four over to the hundreds place. How many hundreds are there? Three taken five times is 15. Seven taken two times is 14. 15 plus 14 is 29 plus four, 33. 33 in the hundreds place. Three in the hundreds place. Three gets carried over to thousands. How many thousands? Four taken five times is 20. And here's three taken three times is nine. 20 plus nine is 29 thousands. I record a nine in the thousands place and carry two over to ten thousands. Four taken two times is eight, plus two is ten. Ten ten thousands. We don't even have a ten bar in this box, so that's another reminder that we have to carry the ten over into hundred thousands. Let's see if we can read this product. 109,375. I'm going to start recording from the units place, and that way I can make sure everything is in the, recorded in the right place. So five units, seven in the tens place, three in the hundreds place, Nine thousands. There are no bead bars in the ten thousands place, but I still have to record that placeholder, which is a zero. Ten thousands. One hundred thousand. And remember how I put my hands around the bead bars when I read the number? Here's a comma, which is where my hand was. 109,375.